Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to talk about the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. There's been a bit of a big update happened yesterday. It turns out that Sweetwater in the USA will be stocking this pedal. Now this is a huge game changer. In case you've been under a rock for a while, this pedal is a multi-effects pedal amp modeler profiler. I know there's a ton of these on the market right now and it seems like there's more coming all the time. But I feel like the community fell in love with this because of the size and the feature set. And we'll go over that in a second. But a lot of us pre-ordered this from Neural back in January, knowing that it would be shipping around September. And we've been waiting for it. And there has been a delay. And I think some people in the community have been worried that they won't deliver it on time or they'll be missing features and things like that. But this is huge news. It's been promised for November, which is fine. I mean, bearing in mind what's happening right now, a month or two delay is fine. But it looks like Sweetwater will be stocking the pedal in the USA. Now this is huge and I'll tell you why. I pre-ordered it from Europe and you do get a special pre-order bonus of having some engraving on it. That doesn't really bother me, but I guess it's kind of cool. But if you order from Sweetwater, of course, you're buying from the USA. If there's a problem or you want to return it for any reason, you can just ship it back to the USA. They also have free shipping and in a couple of states, they're still not collecting sales tax yet. So if you haven't pre-ordered yet, I think you should jump down to my link below. You should pre-order it from Sweetwater if you're in the USA. And they have it exclusively at Sweetwater for the time being. So this, this is huge news. This really changes the game for the product, in my opinion. It was already an incredibly exciting product, but now they have the backing of Sweetwater behind them. They can get it into the hands of more players and it will get far more exposure being available direct from Sweetwater. Let me show you what on their webpage right now. So here it is, I still can't believe I'm seeing it. So it's $15.99 and you can pre-order it here. See, only at Sweetwater. And let me just go over why I'm so excited for this thing, both as an electric guitarist and also as an acoustic guitarist and singer. First of all, the thing is incredibly small and light. I love that. And you still got a decent amount of foot switches on it, okay? So like I said, they've taken the best features of different pedals. They've taken the kind of interface from the Helix and also the ins and outs of the Helix and put it in this small unit. So that's the first thing. They've also taken the touchscreen from something like the Headrush. The Headrush has a touchscreen and now this one does as well. So that's really cool. It can profile amps a bit like the Kemper. So they've taken that feature from the Kemper. And the FM3 from Fractal, is really cool, it's small and powerful, and I think the modeling, in my opinion, is fantastic, and hopefully this will be on a level with that. So, what we have here, potentially, is the best of all the current products in one product. And also, as an acoustic player, if you look on the back, it has a mic input and a guitar input, an actual mic preamp with XLR. I wanted this from back when they released the HX Effects. I was so hoping that thing would have a mic input, and it didn't. This has a mic preamp. I presume it's really for capturing amp profiles and things, but I can use this as a vocalist. I can have a vocal mic in there, either with phantom power or without, so condenser or dynamic, and I can have one path with reverb, EQ, and a level for my vocals, and then the next path can be acoustic with IR and compressors and delays, and I can assign those effects to these foot switches on the top. So. I think this is a big deal for the acoustic, the acoustic community. I don't think they're thinking about this in the way that TC thought about the Voice Live 3, but potentially they could. If they added vocal harmonies and a great looper, this could be a replacement for the Voice Live 3, which still hasn't been touched after all these years. So I know the focus is on electric and that's great. I play electric too, but this thing has potential for other instruments as well because of the XLR inputs. And that's why I'm so excited. You've got um, sends and returns. So you can use this with your real amp. There doesn't seem to be an amp control, but you could control your amp via MIDI. So that's cool. It's got XLR outs to go straight to front of house or PA, a PA system. And of course you could also run it through a power amp and cab as well, which is a cool way to run these things. Now, the USB is important. I have a series on my channel called Music Apps with Coffee. And in that series, I review music apps because music apps on phones now can fill the void of features that are missing from your pedal. So let me explain this. Let's say this launches with no looper or they add a looper, but it's very basic. 
you can get an amazing app looper on your iPhone or iPad. Plug one cable from the iPad into this USB port. This USB port supposedly sends MIDI and audio. And as long as it's high quality with no lag or anything, you can just, with one cable, use the looper from that iPhone. So you can basically add a looper to this and all the audio from this will go straight through and back again with one cable. That's what my series Music Apps with Coffee is about. I'll be covering some loopers on there soon because if this works out, and I'll be testing this as soon as I get it, if this works out, then you're laughing. You've got the power of the phone and this thing in that small package. You can do anything you want. And I really think that's the future. So I'm so glad and grateful they added USB audio and MIDI on this thing. That's really exciting. I can't wait to test that out. And then you might say, well, I need more foot switches for a looper. Well, it's got the MIDI port, so you can just add something like the Morningstar MC8. I know, I know it's another expense, but it allows you to have a modular system where you've got this thing that you can take to your band gigs. And then when you do a solo singer songwriter looping show, you add an MC8, you've got eight more switches and the power of the phone and the apps on that. So that's no reason for Neural not to add loopers and things. Please do Neural and add a fantastic looper, please. But in the time being, we have ways to work around that. That's really cool. And in the future to expand on the incredible power that's already here. And this thing does look very powerful, which is what we need. So yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Look at this, look, there's the touch screen. The foot controllers are also rotary encoders. You can turn them left and right as well to make adjustments on the screen if you don't want to use the touch screen. The pedals do look a little bit close together. Again, I'll be testing that out. I do have large USA size 12, uh, 13 feet. UK 12, USA 13, I always forget, I always get mixed up. So I'll be testing that out. I'm a good candidate to test out the foot switches. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and it captures amps. It ships with 50 amps, 70 effects, 1000 IRs. If you want to try out the sounds now, you can download the Neural DSP plugin free trials and try them out. And if you love them and buy them, they will be available in this pedal. So Neural are saying. So that's really exciting. There's a list of amps that are there already. There's more to come and there's an inside look of the pedal. It doesn't have a IEC kettle lead type connector on the back. It does have that small barrel connector to I presume a wall wart type large uh, plug. That's a downside, but if they put the full size power supply in here, it wouldn't be that small. So that's a trade-off we have to live with. That's fair enough. It's got built-in Wi-Fi for updates and cloud backups. It will have a computer editor and a phone editor eventually. This is really exciting. As long as they deliver these promises, this could be absolutely mind blowing. I can't wait to try this thing in person. Weighs 4.2 pounds. So I'm really excited. I can't believe this thing is coming so soon. Now I see it on Sweetwater. It's become a reality. And of course, I'm still following Kemper and Helix. We've got Helix 3.0 coming out soon. I'm sure all the companies are working on new products. I will cover as much as I can on my channel, but I'm really excited for this one mainly because of the form factor and the proposed power. I think this thing is really, really exciting. Let me know what you think below. I'll put a link to this below. I do use affiliate links in my descriptions. So if you buy anything from those links, I do get a small commission at no cost to you. It helps me run the channel. So if you, if you use it, I really appreciate it. And please subscribe and ring the bell. So when I get this thing and go live or post videos, you can follow along with me and see what I think about it. I'm really excited. I can't wait. Let me know what you think below. Have you pre-ordered? Are you pre-ordering? Are you going to sit back and wait? Are you happy with what you got? Are you looking at something else? It's a great time to be a musician, right? It really is. But I'm so glad Sweetwater behind this project and I, I wish Neural all the best and I can't wait to try this thing out in person. So stay tuned, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.